Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause I love you It happened in the radio. So I want to get everything on cam camera. So when I do. Hmm. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Milan Looks, and I'm back with another motherfucking video. Ooh. It's so good to say that again because I haven't uploaded a video within two months. And because I haven't uploaded it is only because haven't been feeling myself you know being pregnant is like a lot on my body and like i was working so i really couldn't upload going through stuff so now i'm making a video because i feel like it's almost that time but i don't know so i am 36 weeks today i made 36 more. made 36 weeks today let me show y'all a bump so this is her. She in there. She in it, child. I'm gonna like throw it right here. It hurts really bad. Something like goes hard, then not hard. Hard, not hard. So I don't know if those are contractions or whatever. But I'm just laying on my side because I'm trying to like, <laughs> I feel like pear cramps. That's all I feel like. I'm gonna get back with y'all when something else happens. I'm gonna start this journey with me this is the video to my labor and delivery vlog i was so nervous but <laughs> we about to do this thing so your girl has to come in because i was having pains and those were braxton hicks contractions she checked my service y'all when i say that service check everybody know hopefully everybody's different and everyone's not the same like her she's literally stuck her hand up all the way up there my cervix is closed i dilated so there's no point of me going to i can tell my doctor friday when i go my cervix will open excuse me but today is march today is march 8th i'm not sure but I just want to come here so you we can vlog the whole process so y'all can get to you know the whole show or whatever because i want to miss i don't want to miss nothing you know i don't want to miss anything and i look a hot mess i'm gonna make sure i have my hair done when um before i get birth so now i don't know i got some more time to get her stuff ready because i was in the middle of washing her stuff yeah washing her stuff she doesn't have a car seat yet it's still in the mail her bestness still haven't came. Like, nothing literally is here yet. So, it's a perfect time that she's not here. And I'm literally freezing. And I'm tired, too. So, and I drove here. So, hopefully, I'm not cramping or anything when I'm driving. Because, yeah, no. I'm not doing that. But, I'm going to keep you guys updated. by Continue the journey with me. Hey y'all, so today is, I know Sunday, I think it's Sunday, March 13th, 3 something in the afternoon, but um, my stomach hurts really bad. Um, I feel like when you eat too much sweets and your stomach hurts, you have to shit. Sorry, but I'm just going to give it to y'all real, I don't care. <laughs> So I'm on the toilet, and um, I'm going to see if um, this helps me, my stomach from being hurting, doodling. So, yeah, I'm going to see. So if not, then I lost, I think I lost a piece of my music club yesterday because it was slimy. But it also could have been discharged too. But I don't know. It didn't have a bleeding. It wasn't blood inside of it or anything. Um, hopefully I'm not in labor yet. Because I'm still washing her stuff. 
she doesn't have a car seat yet still in the mail <sighs> yeah um, yeah i'm just gonna keep you updated so hello guys hey guys it's your girl ever since that incident happened i've been fine your girl is still pregnant those just Braxton Hicks. Bitch, get it together. <laughs> um, I'm about to get my cervix checked. When she do it, it don't hurt. But when that other lady did it, we just tell y'all, do not recommend it, okay? She went all the way to put like she reaching for gold or something. Girl, this is a coochie. Treat it with care, okay? <laughs> get my cervix checked. So, hopefully, we I'm already one centimeter dilated. And I'm only 37 weeks and three days today. So, baby girl need to come out here, okay? Like, seriously. So, hopefully I get some good news. But she's on my shift line to induce me. It's not giving. Who want to get induced? And then she's talking about next week for 38 weeks. Bitch. Huh? I'm, what? No. But yes, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. I'm gonna try to record her checking my cervix, but you won't be able to see nothing. You will just be able to hear her. So hopefully I do that. But if I don't, I'm gonna just update y'all when I get in the car. So wish me luck. So y'all, I'm at the store getting a pineapple. My aunt said this is gonna help me go into labor. Well, yeah, y'all, I'm vlogging because I want everything. I want to ha have all the footage leading up to me giving birth and me actually, you know, going into labor. So, so I can put this, so I can have memories and stuff for her. Hopefully, I want to, I want to try it. I want to try it, but at the same time. To get this girl out, cause like y'all, I'm over being pregnant. Tomorrow I'll be 38 weeks pregnant. What the fuck? Um, so I'm ready to get her out, but at the same time I'm nervous because what if it actually works? You know? Yeah, I'm gonna keep y'all updated on the whole process about these this pineapple. She said get a fresh one. I got a fresh one. So hopefully everything's goes good. Ooh, I'm nervous. <laughs> So y'all, your girl didn't eat the pineapples. I ate two bowls of pineapples. I don't know how much we'll see. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Just in case I get almost some more later tonight. I got some. My mama cut them up for me. I'm bouncing on the ball. Bouncing on the ball. So yeah, we're gonna see if this works. Hopefully it works, y'all, because I'm over being pregnant. Um, I'm I'll be 38 weeks tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 22nd, and I'll be 28 weeks tomorrow. I mean, 38 weeks tomorrow. So, I'm I think they scheduled me for an induction this Friday. I'm not sure. It said I have to pre register for my appointment Friday at the women's hospital. I just have a doctor's appointment, so I'm not sure what that means. Um, hopefully she comes out before then, because I'm not trying to get into a shot. Not trying to do that. But the girl up in here is too comfortable. Like, too comfortable. So, yeah, I'm going to keep bouncing this ball. I'm bouncing the ball for another 30 minutes. Um, another 30 minutes and see if that helps. And go from there. I might do a little, you know, jumping jacks, squats. So we're gonna see. We're trying to get this girl out. I need her out. I, don't, I can't do this anymore. I can't. I'm over it. I might even think about the pain ahead of me. I'm just won't. I'm just want her out. Okay. The pain gonna come regardless. So I'm trying to get her out, y'all. So I'm gonna keep y'all updated if anything happens. Um. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Princess Milan. I didn't change it, so I'll put it in the screen, on the screen. As always, make sure you stay tuned for the update. Hey y'all, it's your girl, Milan Lex, and I'm back with another motherfucking video. I'm very excited, okay? Your girl should be a mommy. This, not for to be no more. 
But your girl is getting induced today. That girl is measuring small and to prevent risk and stuff. They want her out now. So they're supposed to be calling me around five or after five, it doesn't matter. But she also did a membrane suit where I can go into labor on my own to see if I was gonna go into labor on my own. So now I'm just packing all her, you know, last minute stuff, my stuff, making sure I got everything clean in my room. Cause when I come back, I want a nice clean room. Um, I'm glad her bassinet came the other, the other day. I put it together. She's so big. So, yeah. Um, everything is already done. I have her car seat just waiting. So she said I was supposed to be experiencing cramps and stuff. So I haven't experienced, I haven't felt those yet, but I pressure, not pressure, but some pressure down there, a little bit of pressure. Um, I didn't change. I really should take another shower just to be sure. Um, I might take another shower. And put some more clothes on because I was outside. But yeah, so I'm just getting here ready for her, putting her stuff together and getting everything together situated, straight in my room because my room needs to be clean when I come back. Keep y'all updated on what goes on with me. My mom and my dad went to go give me some food just in case they do call late away uh, ahead of time. I already been eight. He gets on my nerve. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the vlog, the labor and delivery vlog. Everything is happening so fast. Um, I'm literally about to be a mom. It feels so surreal. Blah. <sighs> really thought I had like another week. But no, baby girl, like, no, baby, I'm gonna come out. She's just not coming out on her own. She's just not growing. So they want her out. So I'm just gonna keep it updated. And yeah. Hey y'all. Um it's like seven, eight o'clock. Got my brain sweep around. It's really like two. And um I'm feeling like a little period cramps, like period like cramps down here. Now I would use the restroom. I'm a little talking to wind. Today is Saturday the 26th, March 26th, and it's almost one o'clock, yeah. almost one o'clock, um, your girl is getting induced today, they scheduled my induction for 12, but I didn't get into like 12, 20 ish, and so now I'm just waiting on a nurse to come in here to take us to our room, I'm gonna keep y'all updated on what goes on, the process, if I can, if not, she will be recording. And hopefully my baby daddy will be here pretty shortly. Because <laughs> Yeah, I hope my baby daddy can be here pretty shortly. Because mm, no. But yeah. This is the last bump update. I don't have no stretch marks. What do you No. Mm. Yeah, I don't have no stretch marks. So, I'm going to just keep y'all updated when we get into our room. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl. I'm in the cut in the bed. I'm scared. I'm not scared. I'm just nervous that it's all about to be over. I'm about to have a little baby. I was just pregnant. Yeah. And it literally went by fast, like. So, yeah, I'm just hooked up. Um, she put my IV in my arm. Never had that happen. Don't come for me. I was trying to take out my nails, but baby girl gonna have to see my nails like this. Period. 
um but yeah um everything is ready they haven't started anything besides some fluid that's it so yeah it's starting hope everything goes good um I will meet my princess hopefully in the next day now when these contractions hit y'all I'm fist to be crying I don't give a fuck I don't do pain where uh, uh. and I might get the epidural because bitch, I already know I'm gonna get the epidural because bitch who natural who seven centimeters crying who bitch not me so yeah waiting for my mom to get back look course is over there when Mini the update they started me on Cytotech and the contractions has started. She gon' put it on you. Yeah. Uh -huh. She gon' drop, drop it down, down low. Drop, 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 drop it down, drop, drop it down, down low. Just so y'all, I'm here and they started me on the pill that goes in your vagina. And she put that in there about 318, I mean 310, and now it's 445. Your girl is having some contractions down there. It's not bad, it's just period cramps, but like the times five, and the times three. So that one I showed y'all, I literally had, that's what it felt like. And I feel like it's coming on again. You better not come up in here talking about you better not come up in here at six o'clock in the morning talking about you ain't been asleep. Let me find out you don't wanna stay here with me. Let me find out you don't wanna stay in here and be with me and watch me be in pain. Hey y'all, so I am four centimeters dilated and I was standing, like I was saying, down there check like it. But yeah, I'm four centimeters dilated. Last time they checked me, that was at seven o'clock and here it is, um, oh, it's 10.08. So, um, hopefully... I progressed hopefully um, and I get this process over with because one I'm ready to meet my daughter two I'm ready to be not in pain three I'm ready to go the fuck home um yeah um I would not be doing this process over again we're not I'm sorry now if her daddy choose to have sip of um, kids outside his that's his business but me no um, yeah, so now I'm supposed to get the epidural because it hurts now. Hey, y'all, me and my bonnet. Well, she see me in my bonnet, but um, I got the epidural. That hurt. 
do not recommend. I feel like a homeless person, not a homeless person, an old person that's in a nursing home. They got to lift your legs up, bend your legs. They got to do everything for you because you can't feel nothing. That's that blood pressure cuff. So, yeah. Um, I got the epidural. My mouth is like dry though. I don't know. But I got the epidural. I'm still once, I mean, four centimeters dilated. <laughs> Um, I got the shakies. But that mug made me sleepy. It's making me sleepy. So right now, I got y'all the phone. I'm going to um, take a nap. Because I need some sleep. So I can, you know, be able to push. <sighs> push. But yeah. My mom over there asleep. Y'all can't see her. She's sleep. In a chair. She could be laying on the couch. And she choose to lay in a chair. Mama, you can know you can lay on the couch. That's why it's the couch. Before you get a crooked, girl, that's why they have covers. They cover right there. You can put the the, the liner on the couch. Why are you mm -hmm. sleeping on the chair before you get a crook in your neck? Actually, the chair is not even going. Girl, get your butt on that couch. <laughs> before I got that, I was in a lot of pain. Um, so yeah, I'm still four centimeters dilated. So they got me on this peanut ball that I'm on my side because they want me to dilate. And then <clears throat> she's gonna come and check me at three something and she's gonna let me know if I dilate it. And then, and um, if the phone's shaking, I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, this is our road to having a baby. I dilate, but not as fast as I think I am. So yeah stay tuned for the updates baby girl will be here within i'm gonna say tomorrow she'll be here tomorrow for sure hopefully it's in the morning mid-morning mid-afternoon i don't have to be in labor for a whole nother day so yeah bye Hey y'all, it is um, March 28th, um, I gave birth to my beautiful baby girl, I gave birth to her yesterday in the morning at 3.08, um, this is what my body looks like. I don't have no stretch marks. No. No. I don't have no stretch marks, y'all. Period. Um, but I'm going home today. I literally had my baby yesterday. I'm going home today. Baby, that's on period. Get your ass up and walk. If you had a, a C-section, get up and walk, baby. Don't sit there and let your ass be in that bed. You come in here every hour, every two hours, and you really can't get no sleep. And my baby's right there and her thing knocked out. I'm about to feed her again because, well, before you leave, I'm going to feed her again because I haven't fed her since um 10, something. But, yeah, um, get your ass up and walk. But yeah, yeah, I'm about to go home. I'm about to pack up all this stuff while she's in there sleep. Cause, um, yeah, I'm about to pack up all this stuff. This coochie is on fire. Okay, when you have a baby, it's not the same. Oh my god, y'all, coochie is not the same. Yeah, I feel good. I feel you know. I just have to get back 
into doing things while not having a belly and having a baby at the same time. But yeah, so I'm about to get ready to do that. I'm about to get ready to get her stuff. I got my stuff. That's her car key. Her stuff bag over there. I'm about to get ready to feed her first before I put her clothes on. I have a baby. Oh my god. That's my baby. I have a baby. So yeah, um, I'm here by myself because everybody else has to go to work. So um I only stayed one night by myself, so last night by myself. And I'm going home today, so it's like I'm not staying home. I'm not staying by myself another year. I'm not staying by myself another night. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, um, Baby got hickeys. Baby got hickeys. Look. Hey y'all, it's your girl and I'm back. And yes, I'm at home. I know the last time I updated y'all was like two days ago. Um, and I was going home from the hospital with my little Snuggie. We got home. I got stuff, you know, settled in. And, you know, I've just been enjoying mommyhood. I was doing her pissy, shitty diapers, her keeping me up all night. Well, she don't keep me up all night. She's a very good baby. She don't cry when it's, you know, you mess with her or she has a poopy diaper, peepee -pee diaper, or she's hungry. Other than that, she's doing what she's doing now, knocked out. And um, I'm also breastfeeding. So I've been pumping and, you know, trying to get my supply up i might pump in 20 minutes because but yeah i've been liking the way mommyhood is and everything that it comes with um so tomorrow she has her first appointment so hopefully that goes well hey guys so i'm back she wanted to be on me per usual and yeah but my recovery process has been um, i'm saying mid easy today is like the first day i'm able to you know move around how i want to yesterday and the other day before that um and she said i have a i had a second degree tear so if you know if you had a baby that shit hurts and i still haven't passed a bowel movement but when I was in labor, I was farting. And then when I was pushing, she said I shit it. Yeah. I did a practice push and she said I shit it. I was there, I was farting. Like, I literally could not hold it. Like, after I got the epidural, I got the epidural and I was four centimeters because the contractions was coming back to back to back to back to back. And I got the epidural at four centimeters and I was good. I was so freaking high. I'm going to try to put clips and stuff in. I was so high. Like, I took, like, 50 perks. And I was off it. Like, gone. And I didn't feel nothing. Nothing. She put uh, me on my side and put the peanut ball between my legs and turned me. And then I went from 4 to 10 in the midst of, I'm going to say about 4 or 5 hours, you know. So that's pretty much it. And if you guys want a labor and delivery story like me sitting down and explaining on how all of it went down, let me know in the comment section below because I know this vlog when the pieces I gave like I skipped some. So if you want to in depth on labor and delivery on how I gave birth, let me know in the comments. And I'm gonna do that because I'm if, it, if there's any specific thing you want you guys wanna see like, you know, how my pregnancy was or you know anything just comment down below and i'm gonna make that because your girl is bored now that i'm on maternity leave and i don't have shit to do besides make videos and tiktoks so if you didn't already make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you follow me on instagram i will put my new instagram i changed my instagram name so i will put my new instagram on the screen bye so yeah go follow me um uh, make sure you subscribe though too before you leave that's a bit lit over here. If you like this video, comment and subscribe. You my plus one. Period. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for tuning in. And your girl is out. Get that bitch.